really interested in trying to figure out why talent hotbeds are created. So when you see a bunch of great junior golfers, a bunch of great golfers coming out of one instructor's academy, I'm fascinated by that. And so today, hopping on a plane to go hang out with an instructor that has a talent head, that has a bunch of great players that have come out of his academy. Uh, and we're gonna try to see kind of the processes and what's going on there. Tony Ruggiero, I want to welcome you to a little piece you're going to watch here on the second annual Dew Sweeper Cordillera Ranch Texas Ryder Cup matches. We've got 40 kids out here. They're learning the game of golf, improving at the game of golf, and playing competitive golf all weekend long out here at Cordillera Ranch with some of the best teachers in the country, best fitness instructors, mental coaches, everything they need to get better. And then in the afternoon, they're playing some highly contested matches with the right to earn the cup and I'm telling you I'm about to go get all my boys I'm fired up I want to win that point this year How cool is this place I mean just epic views uh, it's good first night just got in here I uh, grabbed some dinner and excited for tomorrow it's gonna be a full-on day They've got coaching, they've got tournaments going on. It's gonna be awesome. Welcome down to day two. Today is the day that things really kick off. So this morning uh, they've got kids going through stations. Uh, and here's the killer part is that Tony brings in like world-class people like Dr. Greg Carton. There he is. Good morning. Um, and there's Colby who's a fitness trainer. Uh, we've got a bunch of great instructors. So they're gonna be working this morning and then matches this afternoon. It's a pretty cool setup. And so we're just kind of see what the vibe is, see what's going on and see why these kids are so good and why they're getting so good. Hey, I'm Mark Wood. So right now what we're doing is we got all these, we got all these kids. We're trying to get them to understand how to set up a practice station how to work on whatever it is they're working on. Some are working on plane, some are working on alignment, some are working on, on what the club face is doing, some are working on curve. Create a station so when you hit a good shot, you know it's a good shot. Talk to me about this camp. Like, What's your impression of, of this camp? I'm so excited about being here at the camp, watching all the kids from Texas, all the kids from Alabama, the kids from New Jersey. I'm, it's so cool to watch how all these kids come together get instruction in the morning, and then compete against one another in the afternoon. Everybody wants to win, but in the end, everybody's a winner for being here. Hey, I'm Dr. Greg Carton. I'm a sports psychology consultant. Live in Boston, Massachusetts. Have a private practice up there. Uh, down here at Cordillera Ranch, uh, working at Tony Ruggiero's Golf School. Tony and I uh, linked up a few years ago and have done a lot of work together. Um, here this week, just offering uh, advice and, uh, to kids who are uh, competing at the camp and looking to get better and uh, just here for them to ask questions. What's, uh, what are some of the biggest questions or biggest things you, you've heard so far here from, from kids? Biggest questions, I think, uh, the most popular ones are how, how do I you know, how do I develop confidence or how do I find a way to be confident? And I think sometimes there's such a sense that we need to be confident to play well that we'll do anything we can to find that confidence. In reality, confidence comes in an instant and it can come from one good shot. It can come from a belief that we're working on the stuff we need to work on to get better.
Wayne Flint from Birmingham, Alabama. I'm um, just down here taking care of these young guys from uh, Alabama and, and uh, Panhandle of Florida and Texas, having some fun trying to fix their setups and you know get their fundamentals more in line with what, uh, what we're trying to do and, and uh, get their bodies set up to where you know, they can do what they're trying to do physically and, and uh, let K. Wayne take care of the rest. Hey guys, my name's Kobe Touye. I'm the performance director at Joey D. Golf. What's going on with the kids today? What are you working on? Um, so what we're doing today with the kids is we're teaching them the sequencing from the ground up. We're teaching them how to use the ground to create power and speed. We're also working on core strength and we're working on thoracic mobility. And what are some of the big issues you're seeing or that you commonly see with kids this age? The biggest issues I see with kids these days is just a lack of strength development. So what we want to do is get them in a position where we can create more strength that's going to correlate to them in their golf swing. Most guys trust me and what we're doing is because I show them what's going on. So if you get guys who can't decelerate, who can't stop and load or unload or be able to cut left, cut right, then physically from a kinetic chain, there are things that's causing them not to be able to do that. And where I where I come from is I find those weaknesses and balances and I, once I fix them, then they'll play at a level they never even dreamed of. Gotcha. Where does that, like where does your philosophy come from or how do you develop that? I basically just went and I, and it was kind of like self-taught a lot of things because when you understand the body and when you think about sports specific or how sports specific works. So if you take a sport like golf or you take a sport like baseball, which is a very rotary sport and it comes from the ground up and then we train a lot of athletes stationary and linear. So we want to add those components. So where I come in is when I look at a sport, if I'm training you for a specific sport, then I want to look at the arena that you your sports played in and that's the, the area I want to train in. I'm Morgan Hale. I am from Tennessee. I played for Middle Tennessee State University. I am now teaching at the Country Club of Mobile with Tony, and I'm very excited to be here working with the kids at the camp this week. What are y'all working on uh, back here? We are doing a skills test. So I have six stations set up, chipping and putting, and we are testing their short game to see how good they really are. Hi, I'm Brian Gathright, teaching professional here at the Clubs of Cordillera Ranch. What are you working on with the, the girls that you're working with right now? Uh, really working full swing today and, and a lot of the, the issues that the girls are having, it, it may have an epidemic running through, might have gotten some bad bad water or something. A lot of the girls, the arms are running away from the body a little at the top and getting behind them at the top of their backswing. So working to try to keep the arms a little more in front of the body and just making a good pivot and a good turn. Just this morning for me was we, you know, we do a lot of work with our juniors on developing their pivot, you know, the rotation of their body, their pivot motions. I think the quicker we can develop those, I mean, I think they are able to hit it harder. I think they're able to control their golf ball better. And I think then you can go clean up a lot of the other stuff. And so, you know, I joke around, we criticize a lot. I don't use any technology or whatever, but you know, we're using a swing catalyst today and it's, it's a great tool for the juniors. It helps them be able to see where the motion is, where their weight is and helps us, you know, helps them develop quicker, you know, develop a feel for what's really going on. Kind of like an MRI of their golf swing, I guess is kind of the, you know, analogy we use. So it's been fun putting everybody on it and, and helping them measure, see where they are and, and, and giving them a note card with a plan to, to get better. So as you can probably tell, an amazing group of coaches, instructors, and an amazing group of talented kids as well. And I've gotta say, wow, Cordillera Ranch, this place is incredible. We're out on the course this afternoon here with Dr. Greg Carton doing his thing. It's a pretty chill afternoon, right Greg? 
no better place to be than the golf course. Greg and I were just talking about this idea of a, a walking meditation, kind of clearing the brain. I think it's a good idea, Greg. People should do it. Yeah, I what, agree. What's your, what's your like, uh, someone's watching, they're, they're on the second hole right now. What do they go do from their second shot to their uh, third shot on the green? I think the easiest thing to do is to shift your focus while you're making your walk to the bottom of your feet. And if you can really get into the sensation of your feet and how they are feeling against the ground. And when you notice your mind start to wander, just come back to that sensation. You may do it a thousand times in a short walk. It's not about necessarily blocking any thoughts or clearing your mind as much as it is developing the awareness of when you're doing it and just bringing it back to that sensation. Nice. Good insight. There you go, folks. Go do it. That is a wrap here on day two at the Dew Sweeper Camp. It really doesn't get much better than this. Today was full on. We got to experience some of the training sessions that are going on, get out on the golf course with these incredible junior golfers, and check out this amazing golf course, man. Cordillera Ranch is incredible. You know what's amazing about this is this team atmosphere. We have a bunch of instructors who have different specialties, working on different things with the students, and these students are really immersed in this really unique learning environment where they get to pick up different things from different people and apply it to their games and their lives. Here's what I think is, is a, a secret, is I think we're not territorial and we expose our kids to other people that are good at what they do, and we're not worried that a Colby or a Wayne or a Woody is gonna tell him something that's gonna make me look bad. And you know, all we want are the people to get better. Yeah. And if I take a, I mean, even you can take Smiley today, if I'm asking him to do something that isn't the best way to do it, Colby's gonna tell me, do I turn here? Apparently. <laughs> Colby, don't you think that's part of it though? Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's definitely a team concept. And that's how it all works out. Everybody wins. Huh? I don't think any more instruction is, Wayne, I don't think it's any more like one guy does everything. I mean, I think it takes a team of people, right. of yeah, experts, of people that have a synergy together, that yeah. they're really working together. I think you have more, I think you have, I think you can have more of a positive effect on, on, on people. Yeah. Give us a recap. How'd the morning go? What do you got? Awesome morning. These kids were so good, but it was so fun to watch them and teach them and make them learn how to really practice. So now they're practicing like they're good players, which they are. Now they're better players. So they'll keep getting better because they'll keep doing it from the same spot. Big news, uh, we're going into last hole. The big match, everyone's following. This is good stuff. This is good stuff, it's the best. <laughs> we've got we've got 25 carts out here with kids under 18. It's unbelievable, they're having a ball.
that is a wrap from the Dew Sweeper School at Cordillera Ranch. Man, what a weekend. Huge thanks to Tony for bringing me out. This has been fun. Now.